Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to J. Mac, <laughs> and I'm I'm so excited to make this video for you guys. Cause look at this box. You already know what's in this, man. <laughs> Damn sure, ain't a Jordan 10 Orlando City Pack retro. <laughs> Not at all. This is the shoe that every sneakerhead has been waiting for. This year is the 2018 Jordan 11 Concord. The icon itself. It doesn't get any better than this if you're a sneakerhead. So let's just, instead of wasting any time, let's pop the lid off this bad boy and just break them open and... Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> that right there is a thing of beauty and I, I know there's a lot of hype beasts out there they're like oh my god they're releasing a million pairs of these everybody's gonna be having them on their feet I don't want a shoe that everybody else is gonna have fuck you man fuck you I want this shoe <laughs> and I got it I got it early on the sneakers app and this thing is just absolute perfection i know people are going to complain about the icy blue sole on the bottom but you know if you wear these just a little bit they'll get pissy yellow like all the other concords anyway so don't worry about that but everything about this shoe is just 100 percent og i mean you got the og high patent leather you got the 45 on the back like jordan's pe and what, what I see that everybody keeps missing is that the Jumpman has finally returned looking to the left on the left shoe. That That is a touch that came on the OG Jordan 11s. And you don't really see them. Th the only Concords that had that was probably the 95, 96. And I think the 2001 also had the left-facing Jumpman. But everybody's used to seeing it the other way. I'm, I'm surprised nobody has mentioned that Jordan's facing the other way on this shoe. But, man, they, they, they couldn't have done a better job on this. I mean, I, I'm, I'm definitely going to rock this shoe to hell. I'm, I'm going to double up. And that's why I don't care that there's a million pairs that are going to be sold. Because most people that are going to be buying these are going to buy one to rock, one to stock guaranteed especially the og old heads on this shoe so you can cut that million pairs down to like five hundred thousand, maybe even three hundred thousand. uh considering that most people are going to be either doubling or tripling up on these so the, the, the stock doesn't matter it doesn't matter this is like the fourth time that this thing has returned and what, what is it like 30 years god damn when I think about 30 years, I, I think about, like, you know, 1970. I don't think 1995. God damn, right? Is it is it seven, 30 years? No, no. It's like 25 years. <laughs> but damn, uh, most people that, that are going to be complaining about, you know, the high patent leather, I don't care. I think it looks really good. It fixes the toe box so it doesn't look elongated like some of the other ones. And I'm a sucker for patent leather, so... The more patent leather, the better to me. That's just my opinion. And if you take a look at the back on the 45, it's actually not stitched on like on the 7210s and the Space Jam. So if you really don't like that touch, you can peel it off and get yourself a replacement 23 and pop that on there with an iron and have yourself, you know, the, the Concord that you really want. Myself, I don't give a fuck what's on the back. I'm not going to see it while I'm wearing it. Pretty much the only thing you're going to see is like the side and the toe box. And when you look at the, the angles of the side and the toe box, it's just absolutely beautiful. You do not get into a nicer shoe than this. And, you know, with, with 11s being one of the most iconic shoes of all time and the Concord being one of the most iconic 11s of all time, it's just up there in like... Probably the top five, top ten shoes of all time. I, I'd say probably top five in, in my book anyway. I don't know about yours, but one million pairs, one thousand pairs. I don't give a fuck because I got my pair, man. <laughs> so tell me in the comment section down below. I don't even have to ask you if you're copping this. You're copping this. How many pairs are you copping? That's the question. 
how many pairs of Concords are you going for? Because now that I got my pair to wear, I'm probably just going to pick up one other pair, throw it in the closet, keep it on ice, and just beat the living shit out of this shoe. But other than that, I mean, there's not much more to show you, man. It's a Concord. It's black. It's white. You've seen this shoe a million times. Make sure you guys leave a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you like the content. And once again, tell me in the comment section down below, how many pairs are you going for? Because I know you're copping. Everybody says, oh, I'm not going to cop in a million pairs. I'm, this is, everybody's going to have it. You're copping. Everybody says that shit until it's time. And you start seeing sizes selling out on Nike sneakers app. And you're like, you know what? Maybe I'll hit up the foot sites. <laughs> Pick up a pair or two. Or you start rushing out to your uh, local foot lockers to see if they still have pairs on the shelves. <laughs> But tell me in the comment section down below. My name's Jay. This is another episode of J.Mac. I'm going to see y'all motherfuckers later.